All right, lads, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 and welcome to the Age of Imperialism mod. I would call this a new mod, but I know for a fact that it is not. I am just very slow at playing new mods. I had intended to do a video on uh, the coming storm. I was going to say, oh, brand new Hearts of Iron 4 mod. The mod's been out for like five years. But yes, Age of Imperialism. I th This is my very first time seeing any of this. At all. I wanted to... Ooh, this is nice. This is very nice indeed. I wanted to go into it completely fresh to get my uh, natural reactions. Fresh reactions. Okay. 19, ooh, 1931. Damn, that is early. You, usually, God, you'd be blessed if you had 1933, but 1931. Fantastic. Age of Imperialism. The, the, the year is 1931 and the Age of Imperialism is in the full swing. The empires of the United Kingdom, Germany and Russia are still possessing vast influences all over the world. And the alliances they create in order to compete with each other, they've, uh, sorry. And the alliances they create in order to compete with each other have grasped the attention of many secondary powers. Thus, the 1930s are about to start, and the outcome of said rivalization shall decide the future of the world. Who do we have? A friend of the free market, Herbert Hoover, USA. Gaston Dumer, well liked politician of the French Republic, okay, so France is still a republic. Second Franco-German War. But on the second... Oh, I wonder what's the point of divergence here? Should have done... But then the second looks different. Looks a bit different. I suppose he's... Yeah, it's, yeah, it's 31. The curse of the job. Let <laughs> see any lore here. 1905 revolution, okay, was there was there a Russo-Japanese war in this timeline? 1920, golden era for Russia. A rare occasion. Uh, no. The war of Japan was largely humiliation. Damn it. Popular figurehead, okay. The Archduchy of Austria. And the Empire of China. And here, Perihito looking very different. Alright, I can't wait to see the map. Ooh, that is a... Okay, the seas look a bit weird. But other than that, it looks very good. <laughs> the seas look so odd. It, it kind of makes it look like there's no water there at all. Okay, so what have we got? Britain, big, huge, actually. Central Arabia. Massive. No direct land route to from Cape to Cairo. Ooh, that is different. Portugal didn't get the uh, corridor. Hmm. Ethiopian, still the only independent African country you love to see it. Italians might be ending that soon, though. They actually have Djibouti as well, yeah. Sultan of Morocco. Italy got Tunisia. Nice. That was the that was the original plan, uh, original Italian plan when it came to uh, starting a colonial empire was that they'd go for Tunisia, but the French beat them to it. So yeah, Tunisia and Libya, and, and it's good Libyan borders too. God, Kaiserreich has butchered the Libyan borders recently. Don't get me wrong, it's because all of the agreements that took place under Mussolini never happened, so naturally they're going to look like that, but damn it if it's not ugly as sin. Balkan Federation. Alexander I going for a kind of a different, uh, more Eastern-oriented Yugoslavia. Free city of Constantinople, Ottoman Sultanates, no Ottoman Empire. Good day. This royalty of Transcaucasia. Cossacks, the leader of the world cavalry. Ooh. King of Poland big. Has Galicia too. Oh, I see. Okay. It's, uh, it's a smaller Austro-Hungarian Empire. They've completely lost Galicia. They've lost some of the Illyrian territories. They've even lost uh, Dalmatia. Italy. God, that's so odd. Oh, that's so weird to see Italy have that, but not a direct land link. I think we should fix that. That is horrendous. German Empire, of course, still big, mostly focused abroad. Cameroon. I think I think Morocco's a German puppet, yeah. Got territory. Ooh, German Asia. They've got a um, Indochina, nice. Bismarck Sea. Got a spade of colonies here. Oh, easy German Japanese war incoming. Okay, so what happened here with the uh, Russo Japanese war? Okay, so they lost South Sakhalin, as usual. They lost control over Manchuria. That reverted to the. King Empire published the Japanese? Maybe. Maybe not yet. It, it is only 31. 
Still has Mongolia and Xinjiang as puppets. Persia too, actually. Afghanistan is completely black. Hmm. Oh, there's, there's a lot of good, uh, good choices here. Who to go for? I do, I do want to say Italy. It's been a while since we played Italy. Five months. It's been nine months since we played Tino, but I like Italy a lot. Hmm. Let, let me take a quick peep at uh, Italy's focus tree first before I uh, commit myself to playing them. Also, Albania under Italian rule, I think. To have announcement. First World War didn't happen. Okay, perfect. That's the point of diversions right there. Let me uh, unmute the game. There we go. That's better. Uh, instead, lesser conflicts in case of social progress took the stage and said, Oh, I think, yeah, I think I mentioned the sec uh, Second Franco-German War, so I think that there was like a, a repeat of 1871 or something like that. Yeah, I think so. So that's why the uh, Germany has the big borders. Oh, damn. It's, it's detailed. Looks different. Yeah, nice. Scorched earth. Ooh. So, Italian focus tree, what are, what are we working with? Not bad at all. Tw oh, 21 days. Beautiful. Beautiful. The king is dead long live the king. That's in least day, I think. Yeah, okay. I, I'm like, I'm, ooh, the A&I, yes. Oh, led by Italo Balbo. I think I think that <laughs> that pretty much does it. Oh, an integralist Balbo, that's crazy. I think I like the sound of this. God, look how unique this is. I love the uh, Art Deco going on. Art Deco is a bit overrated, but I, I do like the look of this. Art, Art, Art Deco is heavily overrated, actually, but um, it, it, it's nice. But it's it's not everything, you know. Twenty one. Oh man, that's beautiful. Core pop 42 million, 12 million non core, I assume just the. Oh, what? We actually have Madagascar? That's crazy. How the hell did we get that? A little bit. Should there be rubber here too? Okay, maybe later on. We also have the. Not the Seychelles. Uh, this is either Mauritius or Reunion, and I don't know which one it is. Reunion, and this one's Mauritius. Yeah. Yeah, what's this island's name? Comoro, okay. And Seychelles is this one? Yeah, nice. Yeah, because I saw the uh, the 12.07 non-million core pop, and I was thinking, okay, Tunisia is decently populated in the north. Lib Libya, there's nothing in Libya. Like, Somalia, not not a whole lot. Eritrea, like, where is that 12 million coming from? Yeah, it's Madagascar. Let's check our occupied territories. Directorate of North Africa. Ooh, also the, uh, the Austrian territories, eh? No cores? Fair. Yeah, 1.43 there, 18k there, 1 million there, but we, yeah, no, no, for balls. No events at all. Nah. I think I like the sound of this traditionalism culture camp, oh. Real politic. Total and Greek, I like, I like that they've changed this up. Oh, that's actually really good. Yeah. 5%, damn, 5% is a group, damn, volunteer gets us 5%, full mobilization, yeah, hmm, that's good, I like that, oh nice, I can actually see the, uh, Bag Badolio, good lord, he's young, is that actually, is that a young uh, Badolio, because I know what Badolio looks like, and it's not that, uh, he, he must be incredible, it's, it is 31, like, he's not that young, Okay, no, I think these are generic portraits. These have to be. Sturzo, I think, is fine. Yeah, Mussolini has hair. And it's like a decent head of hair as well. It's not, it's not when he had like the... It was like half back his head in his younger days. Okay, these have to be... Oh, 
Okay, yeah, Federzoni is Bob Ross. Okay, yeah, these are, um... Yeah, oh, Marinetti is Einstein. Why? We have, uh... Oh, God, what's his name again? Charlie Chaplin. Yeah. Tesla. Orwell. Young Stalin. Uh, ooh. The older Roosevelt. Castro, or not Castro. Uh, Che Guevara. <laughs> A guy doing the fucking pointing Soyak face. Joe Biden is a terrible. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think we'll go with Italy. Back to, back to main menu. Gonna mute that immediately. So. Italy. The Kingdom of Italy is an aspiring world power which has in recent years managed to establish itself both in the Mediterranean and beyond. The Italian army, the air force, and most importantly the navy seem to be setting world standards. Oh wait, I just, I just, I just realized. No, no World War I, no 37th Battle of the Ice Sanzo, no Cardon, no C C F fuck of Cadorna? Luigi Cadorna? Am I getting that surname right? Cadorna, yeah, no Cadorna. Oh, th yeah, this is huge for Italy. We actually get some time to develop, to build up, you know. Italian unification, it, it was... God, it wasn't that long before World War One. it really wasn't. So yeah, this is fantastic. We get, we'll, we'll just say, an extra two decades to build up, at least. No horrific war. N no, no, no Vittoria Mutilata, no Treaty of London, not... Oh, that's so good. Most importantly, the Navy seemed to be setting world standards. Yeah, the, the Italian Navy, I mean, good lord, if only they had fuel in World War II. Fuel and radar, but particularly fuel. They were huge! Much larger than the uh, the German Navy. Though, of course, the German Navy had submarines. Um, U-boat wolf packs, which were very, very effective for two periods, the happy times. Um, then they were counteracted pretty harshly. Uh, but unfortunately, internal problems prevent the kingdom from achieving its goals. Organized crime, social inequality, and flawed democracy seem to be tremendously damaging the kingdom, rendering it incapable of fulfilling its aspirations. It should be the kingdom of Italy's intention to end this unfortunate fragment of history. Now, Partito Liberale Democratico, liberalism, the ideology of classical liberalism, is considered modern development of the, is considered modern development of 19th century liberalism. In its assumptions, the freedom of the individual is the main principle, according to the pro, uh, postulates of classical liberals. Society as a whole prosper if the individuals are not constrained by unnecessary regulations. Avanti Italia, absolutely. Ooh, never mind. <laughs> Army, naval, and air experience gain minus 30%. 15% recruitable pop, okay, factor. 100% uh, military leader cost, 10% stability in conflict support, 10% air, land, and naval doctrine cost. Recent years have been filled with imperialist rhetoric that has become popular in our society, which has contributed to increased support for and the actions taken by the king and his government. Unfortunately, this trend has its drawback, which is the practical silence of criticism towards our generals, which, spoiled, seems to, uh, seems not to be up to the task. Oh, I see. Okay. Complacent military, so. Regia Marine. Regia Marina. 10% uh, naval speed, plus 0 0.01 naval experience gain daily. 15% torpedo hit chance. Okay. See, see, that's the thing, though. Like, like I would go for um, for submarines, you know. Like, when, when, you can't, when you can't really build a big fleet, you go for submarines because they're just so handy. For interdicting the enemy's trade, but Italy does have a big fleet. Like it's it's not Britain big, like you know, not even close. But it's bigger than France's usually. Um, at, le at least in uh, at least in the mods in the base game, it's, I think it's usually bigger than France's. France didn't have a huge fleet, but they did have a decent fleet. Obviously, they were much more focused on the land. Naval research speed plus five. The Italian fleet, due to the shortage of a sufficient production base, is forced to concentrate on quick attacks with the use of torpedoes during the war with Austria 20 years ago. Okay, so we did have a war with the Austrians. Oh, God. Please don't tell me we did end up having 37th Battle of the Isonzo River. The strategy contributed to the beautiful glory of our navy. Okay, so are we big on submarines instead? Damn, I was kind of... I was, I was hoping to, uh... To avenge the, the Kaiser Redux Balbo series where, where I uh, had, to, had the nice fleet but didn't get to use it because the game crashed. Mafia, 30% consumer goods factories factory, that's not great. Minus 15% stability, minus 25% construction speed, minus 15% production efficiency cap, minus 10% research speed, minus 25% factory and dockyard output. 
Organised crime in Italy is nothing new, especially in the southern part of the country, suffering from widespread poverty. Unfortunately, villains do not limit their influence to these parts of the country, and it is evident that there is an organised crime, uh, crime problem all over Italy. Italian colonial empire, numerous investments are in discipline, and the spirit of the Roman Empire have undoubtedly enabled us to bring order to our colonies. The king is dead, long live the king. The tragic death of King Vittorio Emanuele III profoundly shocked Italy. It showed how unstable today's world can be and how conspicuous it would be to change the approach to our state so far. All, the, all this is something that King Umberto II it seems to understand perfectly well. Mediterranean ambitions. The Mediterranean is our expansion area. We must get rid of hostile influences from it. Any description for the king? Nice. Uh, popular figurehead. 15% political power gain, 10% stability, 5% division attack and defense on core territory, 25% trade deal opinion factor. Born on November 11th, 1869, Victor Emmanuel III ascended the throne after the murder of his father. Being a shy and withdrawn person, the new ruler hated day-to-day -day stresses of Italian politics, which is why he rarely intervened in it. Respect for constitutional freedom and neutrality in politics, along with winning the war, made the king enjoy popular support. Okay, so he won the war, and it sounds like it wasn't a Pyrrhic victory. It wasn't an absolute bloodbath. Actually, yeah, I bet the Russians um, the Russians invaded Galicia at the same time, probably. So the, uh, the Austrians had to fight a two-front war without the assistance of the Germans. And we all know that, yeah, the Russians wrecked the Austrians even at the start and at various stages throughout World War One, to the point that they were heavily reliant on the Germans to, be, to do basically anything. So, yeah, no Germans plus fighting Italy at the same time. Yeah, e easy, uh, easy Rome-Moscow victory there. All right, Kingdom of Italy sounds good to me. Smaller countries. Ooh, damn, there's actually a King of Poland. Yeah, there's actually a decent amount of content here. Definitely have to do a couple of playthroughs in this mod. Most definitely. Italy it is. Custom game rules. I don't intend on changing anything. I just want to see if they have actually changed anything. Okay, who can we get here? Uh, Liberals, Chamberlain, Chamberlain, Baldwin, Baldwin Alternative. McDonald, okay, so no Mosley, no nothing like that, no real extremism here. Germans, reactionaries, or conservatives. Russian Empire, Autocratic Empire, Constitutional Empire. Spiridonova, turn off Federative Republic or a Noble Republic, yeah, Aristocratic Republic. Empire of Japan, Integralist Empire. I'm going... To, oh, yeah. Nice. Yes. Integralist Babel. I, I guess maybe that... that, that yeah. If, if, if Italy... Like, I know a lot about Balbo, but I don't know everything about Balbo. But I imagine what happened in this timeline is that because Italy doesn't suffer horrendously in World War I, Balbo has a much higher opinion of the, the monarchy. And originally he didn't in our own timeline when he was... Uh, in his kind of squadrismo days, he was a, like a middle-class Republican, I believe. Um, he actually tried. I, th I think uh, Giovanni told me that he tried to hold membership in two different political parties at the time. Um, yeah, so I guess Balbo is more pro monarchy in this time, and that's why he's an integralist. Sounds good to me, though. Never seen integralist Balbo. Looking forward to this. Integralist. Ooh, Peytan can restore the king. The emperor, even. Reaction Republic, Peytan. Archduchy. Danubian Realm. Schickelgruber in Austria, Danubian realm, very nice. Yeah, I think I saw that before, actually. I think it was on YouTube. I remember, what was that red flood? I'm not too sure. By the way, this is all very nice. British Raj even has Integralist Republic, what? Transcaucasian can break away, damn, that's crazy. This seems like it'll be good fun. We've got a good bit of land to take. Savoyan territories from the French, the rest of the territories from Austria, Corsica, Abyssinia, build a big fleet, maybe invade Greece. <laughs> Felt cute in this pick, might invade Greece later. Now, welcome to the Age of Imperialism, not taking place in a world of First World War didn't happen. It said the lesser conflicts in cases of social progress took the stage instead. This blissful state cannot, however, last forever, and dark clouds are already gathering on the horizon. This version of the mod is called On the Road to Mandalay, Arms Against Tyranny Hotfix. It involves five new nations with full content being added, namely British Raj, Afghanistan, Nepal, Tibet, and German Asia. 
but also other quality of life changes, fixes, and lesser reworks have also been re have also been introduced. With the most important one being complete overhaul of the Russian content. Oh, that's good. And what remains? Uh, see, I would do it, but I just did a Russian uh, playthrough. I just did Molotov, and um, I actually just did a, a TNO Rodzevsky campaign just off camera. I haven't played Rodzevsky in a year. It, it was good fun. Uh, I still need to do a video on his uh, economic development decisions. Yeah, I think that could be. I mean, to do some of those kind of standalone videos, just exploring different topics for a while. Like uh, fully shattered Russia, those kinds of videos. A vid yeah, a video uh, just collecting all of the Far Eastern warlords. Economic development decisions would be a good one actually, because they are good and they're very in depth. Except for cheetahs, they don't have any descriptions, which is very, which is very annoying. Anyway, and what remains the most crucial feature? This update makes the mod 100% compatible with the updated version of Hoi 4. That's fantastic. Please visit, visit our Discord server. I'll definitely do that. I hope so too. Fantastic. I'll unmute the game once again. Again, not trying to get hit with that copyright. Not now that we are monetized. Oh, I didn't even check this. Okay, okay. So normal, um, standards. Kind of nothing really changed here. That's not too bad though. FNAF 43 in 1938. <laughs> That's that's the power of integrity, Spalvo. You get you can get Mav 38s in 1934. Nice. Anything new? Ooh, camouflage. Ooh, it's purple when it's researched. Nice. Pur green when not researched. Purple when researched. I wonder, I wonder if it does like kind of shade in the kind of the green when you're. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Nice. Get ourselves the standard trio. I think, oh yeah, the navy. I need, need to check that now. Okay, so we do have a good number of submarines. Got 23 of them, at least. We have a carrier. Okay, it seems that like Italy's fleet is... Yeah, it, it's the big surface fleet. God, I love big surface fleets, Italy. Oh, a good roster of admirals. God, you know what? I, I, I know that I won't use, like, the vast majority of these over the course of the campaign, but I just like having the option. I just like seeing them here. So is it the, that the mod has had uh, effort put into it. Yeah, get to Zara. He seems like a fantastic admiral for our service fleet. And hopefully find a sea wolf. I could search for it. But I won't. Okay, Alessandro. Michele Noli. Maybe. I'll just make sure he's not the only sea wolf. I know I said I wouldn't search for it. Yeah, he's the only one. That's grand. Perfect. We will get... Ooh, four attack. Hell yeah. Got a carrier, that's crazy. By the way, we will get yeah, your docked here. Don't don't be docked in the level two, be docked uh, in the level six. Yes. Now Barb Ethiopia, okay. What's our relations? Okay, you don't really care. Do you have a focus tree? Um no, I think this is the Is this the standard? Generic tree? That is nice. Woo. That is very nice. Can't go wrong with a, a strong generic tree. Alright, how many men do we have? 457,000. That's a very good start. That is fantastic. Yeah, see, yeah, that's Pietro Badoglio. I <laughs> thought I was going crazy. I was like, why does, why does Badoglio look like that? He's not that young. We have the Bono, of course. Graziani. Bast level 4 Bastico. Okay. <laughs> Oh no, putting Bastico on the same level as Messi. That is That is a crime. That is horrendous. Like like I'm not saying that Bastico is like, you know, a level one. You know, maybe like level two. You know, let level two maybe is, is fair, but good lord, putting Bastico on the same level as Messi, that is horrendous. Ambrosio, Gazzoni. I used to I, just, I remember Giuseppe Talera from uh, from the Black Ice Italy campaign. Had a position in Europe for a lot of us. Now on the uh, Greek border, I think. Gazera. 
Oh, Gabriele Nassi, I love, I love using him. Garibaldi, Cavalero, Bergonzoli, Roata. Nice. Very good roster. Well, I, I won't say very good. I have seen bigger, but this is good. This is good. This is, this is a good roster. This is a good roster. I want to use Graziani or De Bono because of historical reasons. I mean, yeah, you can't go wrong with I would say I was about to say you can't go wrong with Graziani. You very much can, but he's got a level four attack skill, and let's hope that he doesn't have the uh, assassination attempt on him in this timeline. Uh, yeah, yeah. And the Bono has several things holding him back here, old guard, all that stuff. Ooh, Graziani is already a uh, advisor, though. Chief of Staff. Who for the Chief of Army? Oh, this is... Torre Basco's portrait is Rommel, and Rommel literally insulted Bastico IRL. Oh, I can't remember what he said about him. Oh, he, no, no, he didn't say anything, but he called him Bombastico. That's it. That's it. Oh, that's good. It says here, though, that... Graziani is already a... An advisor. Mass assault theorist. Can't even tell what that portrait's supposed to be. I think, yeah, I'll take, uh... Take Graziani. Of course, I might be using multiple marshals depending on uh, how many theaters I am involved in. But, Confederation, you don't have this as a claim or report. No, good. And at least you don't any. At, you, at least you don't at the moment. At the complete tempo de decisione. 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 Maybe. No. Decisione? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Now. New, we can go for the new colony development. I think that's what we're locked into, yes? I believe so. Nice. New colony development program. Add great colonial expansion program, which grants 15% monthly pop to 10% consumer goods factories factor. 10% stability unlocks master of puppets decisions. The recently crushed uprising in Libya. Ah, this new sea order is gone. That's good. Made us realize the need to show more interest in our overseas territories. Yeah, we gotta send... I was about to say we gotta send Balbo down there. We send Balbo if we want to develop it. We send Graziani if we want to uh, deal with them. Hmm. Eleven dockyards, not bad, not bad. Into war close air. <laughs> Why is that the bottom? That's fine. We can just finish off all of these destroyers. Well, all these other ships as well. Submarines sounds good to me. They're all mostly finished. Cruisers too, nice. 1932, 1932 cruiser, that must be a heavy cruiser or something. One you can, you can only assign five, uh, five dockyards. Now oh, what else? Artillery. Ah, oh, shit. We're using the German 105 artillery. And Saldo Breda, yeah. It's probably is it the exact same layout? Yeah. Artillery, anti-tank, anti-air, total rocket artillery. Yeah, I might. I'm gonna use Ansaldo, and then if I make anti-air, I'm gonna use Breda because I do know Breda for their uh, anti-aircraft guns. Oh, yes, I've got a new layout of uh, of assigning my military equipment, where all the stuff at the bottom is what's closest to the front line. So obviously, artillery is gonna be the furthest away. So no, no support equipment is gonna be in the rear. Trucks is for trucks are for. Transportation, unless we're using them in the context of motorized infantry divisions, in which case they'd be at the front. We'll keep it like that. Now, yes, what to do? Yeah, we have very few free factories because we do have a loss. Interventionism, mafia, yeah, 130%. Yay. Resources, yeah, we're not the strongest in, in resource-wise, but we do have some resources, which is good. I am wary of... Minus 350 political power? Damn. Minus 200 political... Is this, is this a bait tree? Is, is this a, a fake tree? Are we going to get a different tree when the king dies? Is this, is this going to disappear? Maybe. 
Hmm. Is there an infrastructure here? He really focuses decisions. I don't want to, uh... Well, yeah, no. We'll probably be fine. We'll build up all of our resource areas. And then the infrastructure can simply go somewhere else. That'll be getting focuses, that is. Uh... Stealing Libya. Oh, we are all even getting oil from Libya. Oh, that's fantastic. That's huge. Oh, it's one specific deposit. I like that. Is it's one specific really small tile? Oh, I like, I like the, the kind of ring network here that they've got going on. Yeah, very nice. Might make combat difficult though. Not sure how I'm going to do that. We simply won't fight here. Get up to three. To five. Ooh, yeah, yeah, with some resource excavation, maybe court later down the line. Yeah, we could be doing very well out of this. Very well indeed. Don't even have to, uh. Don't, we don't even have to build synthetics. We might have to anyway, if we if we use a lot. Yeah, we do have that big fleet as well, that's the thing. I think we will start with that. In terms of resource development. Looks good to me, it's most of our resources. Then yeah, if we, if we went down to... Uh... Oh, Autarchy, damn. Oh, this also changes up your consumer goods. See, see this is good, I like this a lot. I like, like when it changes up like this. Gives you 20% for refinery construction speed, nice. Very nice. Alright, so let us sign this. Obviously, we're going to need lots of artillery. That goes without... I'd say just something like that. For now. 2.16 million already. God. If we get any more, we'll be able to actually fulfill uh, Mussolini's 8 million bayonets. Or what was it? 8 million? It was something... He, had, he made outrageous claims in that regard. Division to north and south, minus 15% stability, minus 35% conflict support. The industrialization of Italy can be said to have completely bypassed the southern part of the peninsula, which remained largely agrarian and poor. Consequent, uh, consequently, we should not be surprised that the inhabitants of the southern regions remain largely dissatisfied with their actions, as do the inhabitants of the north, who need to contribute financially to the south. Roman question. Plus 0.25 daily political power cost, minus 10% stability. Oh, we need to do a uh, Lateran Treaty. As a result of the reunification of the Apennine Peninsula, the Papal State was annexed, which was met with great reluctance by the Pope. The conflict between the Apostolic Sea and our government has remained equally fierce for many decades, and more and more Popes declare that they are Roman slaves as a result of the actions of this of the Kingdom's rule. This is not the best situation for our government. Yeah, we, we need Balbo to get an integralist Balbo Italian Empire to do a Lateran Treaty. Yes, it's a sign some channel story bastico. Yeah, yeah, I'd have that smirk on my face too if I if I was made level four. Uh Air Force time. See, this is so clever. This is so clever. Air superiority bonus and combat. This makes so much sense. Caring leader? This is brilliant. I love this mod. Homeland Connoisseur? This is all so clever. I love how they're changing. Uh, yeah, cause, like, it made. Uh, if, I, if I go to Volunteer here, yeah. Totalen Krieg. Okay, th th this doesn't reduce my division stats. That, that was always a big thing that I had a problem with in the base game. Like, if you're going to, uh, like, scraping the barrel, 25% recruit will pop. You sh your division should be, should be suffering. It's like saying, oh, yeah, an 18 year old and a 70 year old, oh, they can fight at the exact same level. You should get uh, bigger malices the further up you go in terms of the recruitment pop. Though in this case, it's going down. 
Then again, I guess it's like that in the, uh, in the base game too, now that I say it. Age of Imperialism. Yeah, let me have a look at the, uh, the Russian tree. Before comes tomorrow. Classes on clay legs, yeah. We'd save the monarchy, nice. Revenge for sushi, mate. yeah. Russo Japanese war went just as poorly in, in this timeline, it seems. This looks great, though. Ghost of Tsushima. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a game came out recently enough. Ottoman Sultan got a focus story. No. Germans, let's see what they have. Very nice trees all around. Yeah, let me sign a, let me assign a couple of generals here. Caring leader, cautious. I need, I need Gazzoni. Yeah, Gazzoni, I'll take you. I'll take uh, Talera. Ooh, Talera's actually a Panzer officer. What? Uh, Gabriele Nassi, always. I'll stay away from Garibaldi. Broken Zone. I, I do make use of you. I make use of Mario Rata as well, actually. But that good attack skill. I'll use um, Messe and Talera if I get some tanks. Other than that, I will take Roata as well as Bergenzoli. Oh, I can only use 16 divisions. Nice. It should be one per Major General, then one core per uh, Lieutenant General. Yeah, then one Army per Full General, one Army Group per Field Marshal, one Theater per Grand Marshal, if that's even a title. I don't think it is, but it should be one. Now, steel. Who, who, who is our friend here? It's, it's the Russians, isn't it? Yeah, it's the Russians. It's the Russians. Russia, Tungsten, you got, you got some. You do, but I think that's us actually out of. Oh yeah, got the two. Oh, this mod has achievements. I love those. I love these mods. Before December of 1938, we got a pup at the Russians, and the that's not happening. Wait, what am I saying? No, 1938? Yeah, this is 1931. Okay, that, that is definitely possible. Oh, nice. A, uh, a lyric from Facetanera. Yeah, what am I saying? It says it right here, my bad. All countries... <sighs> bruh. No more pineapple pizza. After 1943, I don't think I'm gonna play that long. And a lot of it is locked. Fair enough. This is the part. Did they change up the uh, the icon for that? I think they. Yeah, yeah. They changed up a lot of the icons here. Nice. Oh, we actually still have. Uh, Actually, still have some civilian factories of trade. That's fantastic. Thought we only had like three available. The German, the Germans could be our friends if they if they decide to annex Austria when ourselves and the Russian when ourselves and the Russians smash open what's left of uh, the empire here. Yeah, sure, why not? What else? Oh, damn, the Portuguese have Galicia. That's mad. Spanish tree? Yeah, actually. Nice, Iberia. I do, I do love to see Iberia. 
Speaking of the fleet, though, I'm going to wait till everybody gets here. Oh, actually, this is perfect. Kingdom of Italy. The Kingdom of Italy is probably the most complex situation among all countries in the world. God damn it. <laughs> the Italians are the strongest army and fleet of the Mediterranean. Yes, I knew it. I knew it. And they're ready at any time to fight evenly with the other states operating in the region, including Great Britain. That, 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 that's a big claim right there. I know about that. Uh, this exceptionally beneficial situation became possible due to one wars with the Austrians and Ottomans, which resulted in significant territorial and monetary gains, successful buyouts of French colonies, and oh, we bought Tunisia. Okay. And friendly relations with Russia, all this became the basis for Italian imperialism. Unfortunately, the internal situation of the kingdom is not even a bit as good as the external situation. Corruption inevitably associated with the Mafia seems to be dominating the Italian administration. Many politicians have contacts with numerous criminal groups, which in many places seem to be the true rulers of the country. This terrible situation has a very negative impact on the kingdom, and the status quo achieved in this way makes it impossible to carry out reforms that seem to be more and more needed, especially since the division between the rich north and the poor south of the country have only deepened in recent years. The aforementioned friendship with Russia, yeah, definitely. In turn, deteriorated over time due to conflicts of interest regarding the spheres of influence of the Balkans and the issue of Greece. Russia, you can fucking have it if you just let if you just knock out the Austrians with me. As a result, Italy has lost its main ally and is forced to seek a new ally in the, on the international arena. Who? We got claims on the French. We got claims on the British. We got claims on the Austrians. Uh, the Germans, maybe, but if the Germans back up the Austro-Hungarians, that's them gone. There is no one for us other than the Russians. Uh. To all this, there was also a crisis with the papacy, which already plays the role of the icing of the cake of chaos, which is cutting Italy from the inside. Black clouds are gathering over the Apennine Peninsula, but the Italians have not yet said the last word. Damn right. Avanti Savoy, Avanti Italia. Yeah, yeah. There's no, there's no one for us but the Russians, because we basically don't have any overlapping claims. Yes, the whole Greece, kind of can Constantinople thing, sure. Uh, you actually, you, okay, you're, you're uh, kind of tripartite government that's fine Greece focus tree no Romania focus tree no Hungary focus tree oh Horthy's actually here that's crazy yeah let me check out the uh, the Austrian focus tree Schickle Gruber triumph oh look at the size of the moustache he grew that baby out. Yeah, he's got it upturned as well, like, uh... Well, um, oh, National Public Controlism's... Standard... Ooh, Integralist Party. The National Public Controlist, uh... The Nubian Workers' Party. Very nice. But yeah, speaking of the fleet. Uh, get the fleet together. Okay, fleets together. 89 destroyers, 5 light cruisers, 10 heavy cruisers, 2 battle cruisers, 5 battleships, and a carrier. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe the French can match that? Hmm, doubtful. Total number of ships, 112. And we'll just say 1... Six, eight, eighteen, actually. Damn. Eighteen capital ships. It's not bad at all. Let me, let me check the French. Oops. What have you got? Yeah, C-72. You just don't have it. You just don't have it. I'm not sure about in our own timeline, though, because there was a lot of French ships at Dakar and at Marseille. And uh, at Mers El Keber, wherever the heck that is, in uh, Algeria, I assume. Uh, so I'm not too sure how many ships the French had in their own time, but yeah, they've only got three battleships, 48 destroyers, two heavy cruisers, four light cruisers, 15 subs. Yeah, we can we can wipe the floor with the French. I mean, it's not it's not two to one, but damn, it's not far away from it either. Yeah, they've only got five five capital ships. We've got 18. We've got a decent number of destroyers, in fairness, but we've got, like, double, almost. Um, yeah. Yeah, we can definitely stack wipe the French. Oh, we've only got 560,000 men? We were only, like, 100k behind them. They've only got six military factories. Oh, early, Fran early France war. We, we gotta smash them open. 
Just takes it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can I do the... Oh, I can do the river thing if I want. Oh, I love doing the river thing. Though, to be fair, it, it doesn't make the most sense. Makes... Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll probably just restrain myself to Savoy. But I, I do love doing the river thing. It's just like a big blocky Italy in the west. Okay, tag back to Italy. Oh, I want to smash them open in one big, massive naval battle. Just fucking... Rock up with the carrier, rock up with the battleships, the battle cruisers, the heavy cruisers, wipe them out in the in the bay here, and just fucking lot like land marines all along the coast. Oh, that'd be so good! I want to do that a lot. Yeah, because otherwise you can get stuck in a slog here around Leon. Yeah, oh, just just do some slick stuff. Just land marine. Oh no! Oh man, maybe Italian Amtrak's something like that. Why is there no port here? That's odd. Yeah, Italian Amtrak's, Italian tanks rolling onto French beaches. Oh, that would be cool. I want to do that. What else we got? Point to the government, head of government. Vittorio, Manuele, Orlando. 15% non-core manpower. Damn. Minus 5% conflict support. 10% improved relations opinion. Minus 10% joint faction tension limit. We get him for free. I, I assume. Yeah, I assume. We get all of you for free. All of, all of the liberals for free, you know, because it's a liberal government currently. Oh, I, I didn't even I didn't even clock this until now. We, we've got more ministers. I'm always clamoring for more ministers. Head of government, interior minister, foreign minister, economy minister, education minister, minister of war, head of information and propaganda. This is fantastic. Oh, God, the more ministers, the better. Each of their own little specialization and department. Is that Mr. Bean? Maybe. No, I don't think so. Fantastic. I'm... Oh, I can't wait for this series. But who, who are we going after here? Who are we going to invade? Do we get war goals or do, can I just make it up? Insults and border conflicts. Nice. Bob was going to take every little spat and escalate it to a full-blown war. All right. All right, lads. I hope you enjoyed today's uh, not short little introductory episode. 46 minutes. My bad. This is one of the longer introductory reading lore videos. I did, although I did say I'd stop doing them, didn't I? Yeah, because it makes no sense. Yeah, it, it just it, it works better to just roll it into one big video. Okay, never mind. We will keep going until that hour. New colony development program. Yeah, okay, so. I'm kind of worried about the... Oh, no, we got agreements with them. Market access. Okay, okay. We have market access with them. Are we based on... Let's see. Yeah, you can't be that strong, can you? You're not. Empire of Ethiopia. That's fine. North Somalia, that's one word for it. Hey, Alright, where should... I mean, probably just bring all our troops to France. Formazione. I don't want to try and fight them in the mountains here, but... I mean, shore bombardment... Air Force, what have we got for an Air Force? Uh, 13,000 men, that's not bad. It's not great either, but it's not bad. We all link up here. Is that everybody? Is that... Oh, no. Forgot the colonies. I called to a crusade. Italy and Mexico have never been particularly closely related, but the events of the end of the previous decade made our kingdom much more involved on the other side of the Atlantic. The reason for this was the terrifying activity of the Mexican government led by Plutar... His name is Plutarco? Oh, my God. Your name is Plutarco. You're not Plutarco. Oh, your name is Plutarco and you're a public controllist. Oh my god. Calais would introduce a series of laws aimed at discriminating against and persecuting Christians in the country with special recognition for Catholics. The new special recognition, I assume, in the in, a, in the context of hunting them down. The news of the executions of priests or the shooting of the faithful going to the church echoed widely in Italy, and before the government of the kingdom had officially responded to the new to the news, many Italians had already begun to begun to organize demonstrations of support in the streets for the Cristeros, i.e. Catholic rebels against the shameful actions of the government. This forced the Italian government to approach the matter more resolutely, and in the face of protests from the British and Americans, it can be said that there has been a sudden deterioration in mutual relations between our countries. In turn, the failure of the Washington Conference held last year, it is clear that the conflict will continue to escalate as the British and the, Britain, the British and Americans are ready to support Calais as long as he controls the oil fields. Yeah, that sounds about right. Accordingly, we will do our best for Cristeros. At Crusade, which grants daily political power gain, plus 0.1 army experience gain, plus 0.01 daily naval experience gain, same, air experience, same. Lend least tension limit minus 100%. Send volunteers tension limit minus 100%. Divisions required for sending volunteer force minus 75%.
Again, base conflict support plus 5%. Mexican tension opinion of the UK and the British minus 100. That's a damn, that, that's a lot. Gains Christiata, opinion of Cristero's government plus 100. And they get 100 opinion of us. I mean, okay, that's clear what we got to do then. We got to send volunteers. How many can we send? Two. Okay, we, we have mountaineers, don't we? We do. Uh, what are our current division templates? Nine battalions. Can't go wrong with nine, to be fair. I'll point it. Ooh, we had it. Mm. Org is 62.8. 62.8, yeah. damn. Uh, soft attack, 67. Defense, 222. Yeah, though, though they, they can fight mountains, and, mount, and Mexico is very mountainous. I think maybe some some regular infantry might be better. And then, yeah, there is a lot of flatlands up here in the north. What are you getting volunteers from? You get, okay, you get market access with the Russians. Okay, no volunteers have been sent yet. Alright. In that case, I will look for Mountaineers. Gabriele Nassi is a Mountaineer. Beautiful. Nassi, in that case. Okay, we're going to have a look here for our best. Uh, our best Granatieri. Oh, that is Granatieri. Is that Grenadiers? I assume so. We'll have to change that to infantry in a second. Do we have any any regular? Oh, it uses the system as well, where it's like it's like levels of training rather than just like one, two, three, four, five. I think I'll send some of the. You seem very good. Uh, you're not numbered. That's odd. Oh, Gambara's here. Oh, he's Gambara. Send volunteers, yes. We will send Nasi as well as some air volunteers. Alright, fantastic. How long will it take? 31st of January, then. That's not, that's not bad. They're very far away. In regards to the Air Force, I think I might dissolve the Air Force and then I can just. Reassign it as I want. Carry we even have carry aircraft, that's fantastic. Into our small airframe, yeah. Making sure not to assign the cas or the uh, carrier aircraft here. This is great though. Forty air we can get forty aircraft on that carrier. On a converted damn the forty that's D that's good. That's fantastic. Oh man, I can't wait to I can't fucking wait to finish this. Or not finish it, but you know, play it. I'm gonna pop a quick save just so I don't have to uh <laughs> Enclave series. <laughs> right, let's get over here to uh to Mexico and help our brothers. Mine's three, three mm, I, I don't know about all that. Please tell me the king will die and, and all of this will uh does not have national spirit. The evil influences of the panic of 1930. Okay, yeah, this is, yeah. The king's definitely gonna die like before I finish this focus or something. Please, please, God, I hope. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for North Africa because it's closest, and um, yeah, because it's closest. Expansion of North Africa minus 350 political power. North Africa has suffered extremely hard as a result of recent events, but now that the situation has stabilized, it is possible to strengthen the region economically, which it will undoubtedly help in its future governance. Are, are we getting... No, we're not getting a crazy amount of political power. I was going to say that maybe that 350 is real, but uh, no, no, no. The king's going to die before I finish this focus. Please, God. Also, let me check the... Uh who, who's got the more the most troops? Okay, it's it's fairly fairly even. Oh, that the government's got the industry. Mm. City lights. New film by Charlie Chaplin. That's good. I'm actually gonna have to. Oh, oh, yes. The Russians have arrived to help. The Russians get to send five. That's not fair. And are you? Oh. <laughs> Oh, the British and America, the plutocrats. The plutocrats have sent volunteers to keep Christians down. Okay, that's fine. Latin Slavic Entente will uh, see them off. 
Now I want, uh, do I want, yeah, I want uh, Betsy on it, so you can use the Bono. Mexico City completely wide open. Surely not. Uh, do I have trucks? I do have some trucks. Afford one level of motorization. Uh, huh. Not even, not even taking trucks. That's weird. Hawks Bay Earthquake. Okay. Oh, it's just the way that I can't see them. Oh, I hate that. I, I, I hate the... Ooh, we could split the country right here. Ooh, that could be huge. If we, yeah, if we split them in half, and then, then we just mop up the north, come back down south. Yeah, 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 let's do that. Dracula premiere. Oh, fuck, that was, that was a real focus. Damn it. Fuck. Oh, that's so much oil. That's so much oil. Are these real focuses? I can't resist oil. 10 oil in Tripletania, 10 in Cert, in Cert, 10 in Sirenica, 30 in Saba, 30 in Al Jauf. Tripletania gets two building slots, changes to a rural region type, gets two levels of infrastructure, as does Certe. Sirenica, Saba, Al Jauf. The Libby Desert seems to hide many secrets, the largest of which seems to be the oil deposits, which, according to our specialists and according to the testimony of soldiers fighting against the Bedouins in the region, are certainly there. This is It's only 1931! We're already getting so much oil. Oh, there's the Americans. There's the British. Perhaps we could expel them from this area. The two American divisions are heavily engaged. And this is a supply hub. Where are the Russians? We should try and coordinate with the Russians. The Russians are going north. Ooh, the Russians are actually right here. They're kind of, yeah, there's three, four here. One up here, I think. I'm too short. Anyway. Let's try attacking here. Hopefully we can take the area. Corruption scandal in France. Oh, that's Pierre Laval. Force them onto the defensive. Ah. What? He did actually have two tank divisions. Should, we have, should I have sent the tank divisions? Are they any good? That's actually not bad. Okay, can I, can I recall the volunteers? Please. It cost me 50. Chris, there is government. Has no any. What? Uh. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Uh, PP. Uh, 326. Yeah. PP1. Call volunteers. And then. PP. Minus 270. Okay, I, I don't have to spend physical power to call back my own men, okay? I don't, I don't, I don't need to pay you anything, Mexico. And, uh, and then we're going to send the tanks. Yes, we're going to send the tanks. And we're going to send the tanks on Messi. Yes. Oh, do I have to wait till you come home first? That's annoying. Farms in Australasia. American National Anthem. Construction of the African Highway. Derna gets one building stop and three levels of infrastructure, as does Benghazi, Elagalia, or, El or Elagala, Tripoli, Gab, and Tunisia. One of the main difficulties in Nor of North Africa is the long distance that has to be travelled between these cities thanks to the construction of a large highway connecting all of the major coastal cities. We will definitely improve the local conditions for trade and development. I can't believe we got that oil. 191 oil. Oh, man. Oh, oh man. Nice.
Okay, there we are. So my volunteers are home. Now I can send you Messi. Yes. All these air wings train up. Navy, train. French Prime Minister assassinated. The boom was a small hat? I didn't know that. The X have your superiority. In the CR Manager region, okay. 179, that could be a bit rough. Two divisions are here already, fantastic. Back under Graziani. We've got to use you in an area that makes sense. Mountains do not make sense for tanks. No matter what I accomplished in the last series. Those two divisions could be about to get encircled. Yeah, and dense, thick jungles don't make sense either. Damn you, Mexico, for being so mountainous. I think, yeah, I'm gonna come up here. And that was quick. Building an agricultural base. Derna gets two building stats and becomes a developed rural region type as uh, and gets two civilian factories as does Benge uh, Benghazi, El Aguila, Gab, Tripoli, Tunisia. Oh, uh, Tripoli and Tunisia don't get the uh, change in, devel in developed rural region type. Once upon a time, North Africa was Rome's granary and restoring the status, uh, the status of this region will undoubtedly help our kingdom as a whole. Pronto, signore. Ooh, big moves here. Ooh, very big moves. Yeah, see, this is extremely... Yeah, see, here they come. Three... Oh, okay, never mind. We can, we can still hold. We can still hold. Just hurry up. Unrest in Spain. How fast are these uh, tank divisions? It should be pretty fast, right? 6.6, yeah, that'll, that'll do. Spanish Civil Conflict. The Royalists and the Republicans. Jose San Jorge's here. I should support you. Why can't I send? We have sent a diplomatic request. I haven't sent any diplomatic requests. What are you talking about? Uh, just a quick skim through your just to make sure I don't, don't end up supporting someone who's going to align against me later on. Carlism, Caudillo. Sent your paradigm pact, is that? Yeah, okay, perfect. We can get you. That's the case. We need to send volunteers. How many can we send? We can send three. Okay, nice. Uh, if that's the case, we send three infantry divisions. Uh, we'll give another division to Nasi, and we send him off. Now the aircraft, fighters and tack bombers, Paul Dumail, do you not have an airbase or something? Damn. All that land, you don't have an airbase. Did I forget to send the air volunteers? I did. My bad. Failure of American agriculture. Ah, oh, the dust storms. I send one wing. Okay. Well, we send fighters and that's, uh, that makes the most sense. 33. What? Oh, sugar. I, 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 my bad. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see they flew in reverse? <laughs> nice. Yes, meant to send these, these guys. Up here, help out this, these, uh, beleaguered divisions. Or rather, help kill these beleaguered divisions in Aviado. 
Now, African shipyards. This synthetic refine. Oh man, this is crazy. Expansion of the petrochemical industry. Turbinitania gets two levels of infrastructure and two synthetic refineries as a Certe, Sirenica, uh, Saba, and Saba also becomes a developed rural region type, as does Al. Is that Al, Al Jal or Al Jaff? I think it's Al. I don't know. Where is Al Jaff? It is Aljov. Okay, grand job. Okay, that it's our uh, oil deposit there. That's fine. Now back to this. Where are we? Oh, there we are. Okay, grand job. Yes, I also need to send you volunteers. X. Ooh, our air bomb. Yeah, yeah, we can break. We can break the uh, stalemate here. Not even break the stalemate. Rather, we can actually win. Do I forget to send you air volunteers again? No. We just not have an airbase. No, you do have an airbase. What's going on? I hate on the bugs like this. Ah, oh well. Yeah, up here. Let's go. Oh, he's already engaged. That's perfect. Perfect for us to, to smash through. Great work. Nice and quick. <coughs> Still suffered heavy casualties, though. That makes no sense. Spanish volunteers, yes. On, we're going to put you under, uh, Massey, under the bono. Okay, we've already wrapped this up. That's fantastic. And hopefully none, uh, we don't have that terrible paradox mechanic that, that drives out the Spanish civil conflict horrendously. Empire State Building. Pronto, signore. Okay, we already have a lot of... Yeah, this is good ter good enough terrain down here. Things are, yeah, rocky. Yeah, it's actually not bad. Yeah. Come over here and try and take Barcelona. Desert... Yeah, see, it's, it's, oh, it's all desert all the way down. The supply would be terrible. If we run out of fuel and get circled, we won't be in a good spot. So, okay, we go up here. Basic machine tools, thank you. Uh, give me this first. Try and drive them out of that. Dispense of the petrol camp. Damn, these folks are blistering fast. African shipyards, Derna, uh, Derna Benghazi, El Gala, Tripoli, Gab, Tunisia, one building slot, one naval dockyard, increasing the shipbuilding facilities for our fleet seems to be an exceptionally good idea. I would agree. A purge of fanatics. In Afghanistan. Credit and Stalt goes bankrupt. Uh oh. Oh, it's in Austria. I thought it was, thought it was going to be Germany. No, that, that, that's, a bit, that's a bit early. Uh, yes, yes. Perfect. Oh, ho, ho. Carcano, Breda, Oteo, Malera. Uh, Malera. Uh, I, th I, think, I think they did work for uh, for naval guns. I remember reading that in the Black House series. Beretta. You can't, you can't go wrong with Beretta. I shouldn't have used that. I'm very short of physical power. My bad. There we are. I should have read that. That was important. Sugar. I'll let you guys read it. Ooh. How could that be? Okay, see, 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 when you look from above, you're like, oh, yeah, that, that's flat. But then you zoom down, it's like, no, not flat at all. Desert tile mountains. Ooh. Blitz through, cut them off right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Spanish volunteers. Ah, two different fronts. Let's try and smash through here. Easy dub. No German response. 
An ultimate with the French government. Confusion of the free city of... Free city of Trieste? I, oh, 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 the nunzio is here. He's a decoratist. Does he have a... Uh, he doesn't have a focus train. Free city of Trieste. Under the Italian Austrian condominium. Gabriele de Nunzio, Legionnaires. Mm. Yes, I should actually do something with my uh, with my forces here. Pronto, signore. Si, signore. Breaking through handily. Who else has sent volunteers to you? It's just me. Who sent volunteers to you? Nobody. That's fantastic. I think Spain is by far the more prudent um, one to focus on here. French veto. Ultimately, the German was a violation of international law. Uh oh. Austrian Italian diplomatic crisis. The recent events in Trieste undoubtedly contributed to the emergence of a rather embarrassing situation on the it Italy Austrian diplomatic line. It should be noted, however, that, that for many, this crisis is an opportunity to change the current status quo. Which remains inconvenient for both sides. Never mind, army. You're off to the east. You, you, wait, you still, you still a puppet of them? Why did it automatically draw the front line like that then? It's odd. Pronto, signore. Hmm. It's changed now, yeah. One of our volunteers will be getting recalled soon. Forcibly. Italians undoubtedly would like to gain full control over Trieste, which is largely inhabited by Italians, while the Austrians would like to regain real access to the sea. Consequently, the ambassadors minister of, ministers of both countries have, have held several important meetings over the past few days in order to start negotiations on the future shape of the Adriatic borders. Time to visit Kaiser Karl. Minus 5% base ability, 10% conflict support. Yeah. Can we take him? 10 to 43. Yeah, but, it, yeah, but then, then you have to consider the checks. Yeah, and the Hungarian. Yeah. If we get the Balkaners and the Romanians and the Russians, then we can definitely take them. Oh, maybe even the Germans if they want some land. Otherwise, it's going to be split among the people who actually involve themselves in the war. Pronto, signore. The crisis takes its toll in Germany. The wave of the crisis reaching Italy on no. While the crisis around Trieste seems to be worsening, the economic crisis has hit Italy and wreaked real havoc on the internal market. Terrible time is minus 15% base ability, minus 300 political power. And the evil influences of the panic of 1931. 70% consumer goods factories factor. 25% minus 25% construction speed. Minus 15% production efficiency cap. 10% research speed. 25% factory output. Minus 25% docker output. Resource to market minus 60%. I'm going to wait until I finish this focus. Um, yeah. So I, I can get my dock yards. Okay, so... Damn, I should... Mm. I wonder if I made the right choice, because we, we can't have... Does not have the evil spirit. Oh, well, I suppose we can probably get rid of this and come back to it later, can we? What, what was the other option? Civilian factories, some military factories. Uh, again, more, I think we made the right call with, with the oil. I think we re I really think we did, because the oil, oil is just, you just can't replace it. Meanwhile, in the United Kingdom... London Stock Exchange. Death of the Italian King. <laughs> I find out about this through the newspaper. Are you kidding me? The King of Italy is dead, killed by an assassin's bullet. These are these are the tragic news all over the world today. And the source of them is the tragic finale of the meeting between King Victor Emanuele III and Kaiser Karl. According to reports during the deliberations related to the Trieste crisis, one of the Kaiser Guard members was suddenly, uh, was suddenly supposed to take out his pistol and fire a few shots at the Kaiser. However, the quick reaction of one of the accompanying soldiers saved from the death of the Austrian monarch. 
who heroically jumped down, knocking him to the ground, thus saving his life. Unfortunately, while flying on, the missiles accidentally hit the Italian monarch, who was killed on the spot. The traitor's motives are still unknown. The first victim of the Trieste crisis. Uh, oh. Now, meeting in Vienna, the talks on the future of Trieste were to be finalized in Vienna during the meeting between the King of Italy, Vittorio Emmanuel III, and the Kaiser of Austria, Karl. The entire envelope of the event was to show that despite the difficult past relations of both countries, it is possible to establish friendly relations between them, and everything indicated that the King's visit to Vienna would be very fruitful. But unfortunately, it was interrupted by an unexpected attack on the Kaiser by a member of the Imperial Guard. And although the Kaiser himself came out unscathed, unfortunately, the same cannot be said about Victor Emanuele III, accidentally hit with pistol bullets who died a moment later as a result of the injuries received. The traitor has been overpowered and is now facing a court martial. It is truly a tragic day for both nations. Donati Anarchy. An anarchy. Yeah. Damned anarchists, I imagine. Minus 35% base stability, minus 50% base conflict support, minus 300 political power. Victor Emmanuel III dies and Bertrand II becomes new leader for liberal, conservative, reactionary, and integralist parties. Enables focus. King is dead. Long live the king. Minus 500 percent power. I don't think I've ever been in the hole that much before. At least we have Umberto the second ambitious autocrat. 15% army experience gain, 15% recruitable population factor, 10% stability, 10% conflict support. Yeah, that puts us up to 130% modified. Nice. Very nice. But what of Trieste? And there we are, we just lost everything. Making literally nothing now. But at least we put we pushed through and we cut off Barcelona. That's fantastic. Oh, the Spanish Civil War is so much handier when there's no not that shitty modifier. Black Friday. Everything is going to shit. Long live Umberto II in view of the tragic death of Vittorio Emmanuel III as a result of the attack in Vienna. His only son Umberto became the new king of Italy. The hurried coronation allowed for a moment to distract the Italians from the drastically deteriorating situation and the newly crowned King Umberto II himself. Despite his rather scandalous lifestyle, seems to be taking the whole situation very seriously. Currently, the voice of the new king seems to give Italians some hope for a better tomorrow, although at the moment the situation remains hopeless. In the meantime, news also came to Rome about the planned visit of Kaiser Karl I, who wants to bring the crisis around Trieste to an end at all costs, and also to express his personal condolences to the new king of Italy. In the opinion of the militia, however, this is nothing more than an attempt to escape from the chaos of Vienna. Longa visa a Umberto II. Long, uh, long life to Umberto II. 10% base stability in conflict support. We need that. Gets him the gay king of Italy. God's sake, I didn't know that. After the last tragic news from Vienna that went around the world, this the time has come for a little more pleasant one. Well, this morning, we're on the coronation of the... Oh, gay, maybe gays and happy? Of the new king, Umberto II, son of the tragically deceased uh, Victor Emmanuel III, took place. The great military parade organized on this occasion, combined with numerous celebrations, gave the whole event a sublime atmosphere. On the same day, in his new speech... In the speech, the new king of Italy announced the need, the need to create a new technocratic government that would allow Italy to overcome the, the destabilizing factors of the kingdom and return to the path of development and prosperity. Petro Badoglio, the hero of the clashes with the rebels in Italian Libya, oh, it was Badoglio this time, okay, was chosen to be the prime minister of this government. He has expectations to fill. Quick early life check on Umberto. Damn it, he is actually gay. Fuck. What can you do? Still locked into this one tree for the time being, I believe. Yep, that's fine. King is dead. Long live the king. Politics have changed. UMI becomes the ruling party. UMI being a reactionist. Damn, from, from liberalism. From classical liberalism to reactionism. The tragic death of King Victor Emmanuel III profoundly shocked Italy. It showed how unstable today's world can be and how conspicuous it will be to change the approach to our state so far. All this is something that King Umberto II seems to understand perfectly well. Take Barcelona. One more French government. Good lord, I can't read all this. Edward de Ladier is here. Spaniard royalist people, help. <laughs> we, we all, we, we're already here. We already punched through. 
Yeah, you're taking good. I think yeah, here's a good place. Yeah, because the damn is a lot of. I'm not reading most of the uh, the world events. I know I never do. But alright, let's hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please consider liking, subscribing, as well as commenting down below. I shall see you in the comment section of this video, and I shall see you in the next video. But until then, goodbye.